right, so we got to help you all with Plus, past black. Yeah. Well, we I was figuring I would walk in and just basically high five everybody. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> high five and everybody. You know mm -hmm. No, I, I keep thinking there's a, something in the walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't you think there's just some kind of, let's say, mm -hmm. man, the walk now. You know, I was thinking kind of, how about a white guy, sort of more straight, mm -hmm. whereas a black would sort of like, just a just little, little, just a little yeah. bit of roll. That's not really bad. It's, it's just really sort of not really bad. Way, no. you, know, you know, kind of. And mm -hmm. you know, the biggest thing, if somebody come up to you, is hand, keep it in the middle, because we don't want none of this touching. Okay, we don't touch. Just come in. Can it close thing? Or just just close, just, it can be open. You know, white guys come and hug like oh, this. Right. Like this. Straight up and down, nothing to block. He's like, he's like, I'm not trying to hug you. <laughs> he's not. Like, uh, this is the first time I'm hugging a black man. All men do that. All men do that. Oh my God. <clears throat> yeah. Do we really want to be like saying, okay, so that's what most black people do, therefore I should do it to blend in? Because I know that like all of us are trying to learn about the other race, but it's so much in the, like the language of stereotypes. Okay, we already know the white family is not all right, okay? But I'm going to be honest, and maybe people are going to get mad at me, but I feel like the dad is a little weird too, okay? I'm getting some sussy little Baca vibes from the dad with respect to, like, how into this project he is and slash, like, how it feels like he was definitely, like, a champion in the family for doing this. You know what I mean? Like, he's giving me real I voted for John McCain energy. I'm just... Sorry, it's just, maybe I'm wrong, okay? But he's kind of weird. Generally held belief. Hell yeah, y'all very curious. So y'all do a lot of things that everybody don't do. I'll give you all the white. This is a black man is the dumbest shit I've, I've seen. It took a, if you took a white and a black family from the same neighborhood, they would be almost, they would be mostly the same because they grew up the same culture. All this proves is shockingly different cultures act differently. I mean, I feel like he's, he's, uh, he was doing a little bit of self report in the beginning. Right things that you're doing, then you'll see it curious. A tornado coming by, a white person coming behind it in a truck. Now it's, <laughs> now, now it's, now it's a legitimate professional called storm chasing. I'm not chasing the storm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're laughing because you know it's true. <laughs> That's white. Is it your sense that blacks generally look down on whites? No, we don't no. look down on you. No. It's just your nature is to be more curious than ours. Your nature is to, <laughs> if you hear a noise, to find out what the noise is. We hear a noise, we want to, we're getting, we're getting away from the noise and we're worried about the, what the noise is later. I wonder why those, yeah. if those differences tr are, are true and certainly right here they're playing out. Wow, this is all really interesting. I am never around or very rarely around black people. Really? Yeah, and to have Can't this kind of help. Were we supposed to coach you on? Or ask her? She doesn't have to do that because I know how to adapt and get along with white people because that's something that I learned to do because white people are the ones I had to deal with when I had to interview for a job or anything. You know, I know how to communicate with them to get what I want. We interact with whites daily. Black culture has to conform to white society to make it. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. We are in for something. We are in for something. What did they do? Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> you can learn a lot by living with another family. <laughs> so far, it's been really neat. So far, I've really enjoyed meeting the Sparkses. I've learned a lot. There's like a whole world, a whole community in being black. It's like a secret society with shared experiences and language and custom. Regardless of the, uh, regardless of the difficulties with like makeup and whatnot, it'll most likely be significantly easier for the black family to code switch because they're literally forced to code switch their whole lives as they were talking about versus the white family who I hope don't coats. Actually, fuck that. I really do hope they try to act black. <laughs> oh, no, dude. It's just, like, even... It's funny because, like, the white family is, like... You can tell they're, like, kind of liberals. You know what I mean? So, like... 
are you trying to say that, you know, black people look down upon us? <laughs> oh, this is so interesting. He's already working on the black walk. What the fuck? Black walk, dude. <laughs> Being black no. is a very subtle thing, you know. Oh, the head kind of, you know. Oh my god, alley. he's gonna say jive turkey at some point. Okay. I just I, I'm calling it pre-watch, whatever. You know he's gonna say it. Okay? I'm just letting you know. I'm building up to that moment. I need you to understand that when he says it, like, don't be shocked by it. He's gonna say it. Okay. We had a discussion with a moderator about race to help prepare us for focus groups. The goal of the meeting now is to talk about the idea of racism and how do we recognize in other people what they are. <laughs> Why is the race relations manager? <laughs> Hello, I'm Brian Nozick. I'm the race relations manager. Let me teach you about how to <laughs> do race relations with black people. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. It's so good. Fuck, man. I love America. Literally just the dumbest country on the planet. Like, this is why that lady exists. You know what I'm talking... The, the fucking... What's her name? Saria or whatever. The one that was, like, backed by the Justice Democrats, actually. She's, like, an Indian woman, I think. That does, like, the $3,500 dinners about... Where, where she just, like, yells it at... Uh, yeah, Syra Rail. You guys know who I'm talking about? She, like, ran for Congress, I think. This lady, I love her so much. Co-founder of Race 2D, the co-author of forthcoming White Women, Everything You Know About Your Own Racism and How to Do Better by Penguin Books. So good. It's Rayo. Rao. Anyway, we'll look at her in a little bit. Seen in us when we are in different skins. It'll, it'll be interesting, and I'm sure it'll happen, where I'll be in, in black, and I'll get some attitude from some prick white guy, and I won't have all the history of mm -hmm. resentment right. that a black man has, and I'll be able to <laughs> with him. Oh, just, yeah. you know, uh, mentally spar with him and go, like, you know, he says, hey, you know, I won't get angry. I'll just kind of smile to myself and go, wow, why'd you say that? When I hear the N-word, my jaws clench up. It, it resonates with me. Bro, that rolled off the tongue real easy for you, okay? I'm going to have to do a PSA here. I have to pause. Pause! I have to do a PSA. I know I joke a lot. Okay, and I say like Italians or POC. Italians cannot say the N-word, okay? They just cannot say the N-word, okay? I know I joke about it a lot. But like, if we're going to be serious for a moment, I'm trying to be serious. I just... PSA. <laughs> and I know it's just a word, but you know what I had to go through growing up, uh, that word still gets me. It took him 17 minutes on the first episode to say the N-word with a hard R. It's powerful. You know, no one's gonna just straight, strictly come up, you know, and say, hey, or anything like that, right. because that kind of racism is really not there today. But now it's more, we won't get the, positions that we're qualified for, or we won't get the service that everybody else get. But I honestly, I think that Rose and Carmen and, and Bruno is gonna get a lot more out of this than we will because of the fact that white don't have to go through the day-to-day -day small things that you never think about. Like if I go into the mall as a black man, I'm gonna be looked Look at. at. Right. Or follow. Or follow. Really? What if we're at a gathering, all of us are having dinner together and there are Pretty much equal blacks and whites, and then the no. whites leave and y'all start no. jiving. No. Jiving? 
<laughs> See, that's white. That's very white. Is it really? <laughs> no, get down, mama. That's a pass the grizzly chicken. That's John. <laughs> I told you. I told you. So close. I've never watched the show before. I forgot that it even existed. You know, shouts out to Keish Wrights for sending me the show. It literally has one view, chat. You know I haven't pre-watched. It has, physically, it has one view. Impossible for me to have pre-watched it. Today, Carmen and I are going to be black people in a focus group of all black people. It'll be a panel of black people talking about race and racism. I feel totally confident that no one will be aware of the fact that I'm a honky. Bruno walked in before me. I came in as the last oh. participant to this all black panel. I felt nervous, like, are they going to accept that I'm black? It was scary. It was great. I knew that Brian... <laughs> Dad loves it. It was fucking great. Brian was behind the two-way mirror, and he had given me some advice on how to be black. He told me to sort of just kick back. Um, don't have great posture. Lean to one side and sort of slouch in the chair. I was mindful of not being overly inquisitive. What do you see today as the biggest difference between being black and white in America? I mean, when I think of white people, I think uh, ethnocentric. Very much like my way of saying things is the best, most correct way. And anything that's different than that, you know, I don't want to get to know. It's assimilation. You know, it's kind of like as long as we assimilate and do what they do, we're okay. But if we're kind of like off on the side doing our own little thing, you might be a little bit intimidating. Dude, you know, you know the, the white couple are going to chime in. They won't be able to hold themselves back. There's no shot. This is it. Like, you know, they're going to chime in. Oh, you know. Oh God. She's like holding her fucking, she's like holding it in. It seems like that's just the way it is. This world is dominated by white people. And I don't think it's any way that we we'll By the way, notice how we totally just, uh, it's like normal now. That they're just in blackface. They're in blackface. For those of you who are just tuning in. The white couple is in blackface for this show. For the duration of the show. Ever be considered equal. Because they just talk at you anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm a grown man. You be having them talk. Hey, get over there. Hey, get this. Pick that up. Hey, get over here. You know, it's like, wait, I'm a man. They don't even talk to their kids like that. There's a world there that I got to have an eye opening view of. It was pretty amazing. Um and very enlightening to experience just a taste of what it's like for the black world. You know, there's a lot of controversy about the N-word and who can use it or whether it should be used at all. Who has experienced an intentional attempt to disrespect you by using that term? That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh, yeah. Have you had experiences like that? Yeah, I used to work as a doorman at a disco, you know, and if somebody came up intoxicated or didn't have the right dress on, you know, they'd say, come on, you know. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, a lot more hostile than that. Now, just you know, he's gonna keep saying it, dude. First of all, no one like, like, I just like no one says it like that. No one uses the word like that. It's so obvious that, like, he's like a kid learning a bad word and trying to fucking put it into the conversation. Like, that's not a normal way that a, a person would use that word. Like, so, every, that's a self-report. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I was a doorman at the disco. <laughs> so, and someone came up to me and said, come on, N-word. <laughs> like, no, dude.
He's like, I have the card. Uh, Ice Cube rapped about it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I'm. You know, it just wouldn't affect me, and that would be the end of the conflict, just like that. Because I wouldn't give it the power. Look at his face. <laughs> the only reason why people call you derogatory names is so that they can inflame you. If you don't empower the people that call you the n-word by getting upset, you win. And the idiot that just called you that doesn't have any power. Wow, race relations solved. Conflict solved. Hey, black people, why don't you just fucking, you know, get over it, dude? <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. Hey, just ignore it, dude. What? Don't give him the power. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. That's so good. This is so fucking good. So, like, where's Ice Cube during all this? He, he's just sitting in the back. He's just like, yeah, no, I, I gave you the card, dude. Go ahead. Just keep blasting. Just keep blasting the N-word. That's what's going on. My main thing is just we got a white dude in blackface saying the n-word around a bunch of black people on like a panel slash focus group where black people are talking about their legitimate grievances. This was actually aired on television FX. I love FX dude. Greatest TV network of all time straight up to be the fly on the wall and see how whites act when blacks are nowhere around. I'll be able to, you know, actually hear what they say when I'm not in the room, but I'll actually be in the room. She's walking like a white woman. My name is Brian. I enjoy uh, building computers, uh, things like that. I like fixing things with my hand. My name is Renee, and my hobbies, whoa. <laughs> Swimming, tennis, yeah. shopping. How prevalent is racism still in today's society? Uh, you know, I want to think that everybody is treated equally, and you know what, they're not. Um, I had an experience where I was managing a girl who was black, and she had the worst attitude I have ever seen. I wanted to fight her so bad. It had nothing to do with the color of her complexion. Whatever I would have to document to fire her, I'd have to have an even longer list to make sure that we're not sued. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Yesterday, there's a black guy behind the counter, and uh, my friend tipped him and said, put a tip in the jar and said, thank you, brother. And the guy said, watch how you say that. Only black people can call themselves brother or even the N word. I don't look at a black person and say, I want to do. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is juicy. This is juicy. She said, even the N word. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God. But sometimes there's these innate things that I think have been taught that, you know, I shake someone's hand that's black and my instinct is to wipe it or something. I am very conscious of it afterwards and I feel horrible about it. And it takes work to switch that around. What? Bro, what the fuck? What did he just say? <laughs> no, what? There's no way. Is that a real thing? Do people do that? What did he say? I have to play it again. Oh, 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 oh no, dude. What? Do harm. But sometimes there's these innate things that I think have been taught that, you know, I shake someone's hand that's black and my instinct is to wipe it or something. I am very. <laughs> what? How did they teach you that? Is this critical race theory? What's going on right now, dude? Yo, maybe people do need critical race theory. I take it back. Republicans are losing their minds, but like... They could use some critical race theory, I think. <laughs> this is so good. Oh. Oh, I'm dying. This is the worst thing. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god. 
<laughs> He's missing one lightning bolt on her shirt. Yeah, this is insanity. Very conscious of it afterwards, and I feel horrible about it. And it takes work to switch that around. When he said that, I was like, wow. Um, the guy just the shaking when he was telling us that. You could tell that that really bothered him. I knew that racism was there, and I thought I was prepared for everything. But when I actually donned the white makeup, I was shocked. Those focus groups were really eye-opening. I look forward to having someone say, hey, you know, you're a I hate you. Bro, this dude needs to stop. I, I, he said it so much. I, like, we were going to do an N-word counter. But like, but like, I don't know if we can do that anymore. It's just, he said it so much, dude. He keeps, he keeps doing combos, dude. Why, why are you doing that? Dude, please stop, man. That's like fucked up, dude. Why is nobody stopping him? Like, like his wife at some point needs to be like, Bruno, you need to stop saying the N word. Like what the fuck? Hey, Bruno, you're just wearing blackface. Okay. And expect me to get all freaked out about it. And I just look at him and go, gee, why, why, why did you call me that? <laughs> and that would be the end of it. He knows, bro. He, he's, he's walked a mile in, <laughs> in black shoes, dude. He knows, dude. He's so ready to be racism. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, he loves it. This is so insane, dude. This is the most insane thing I've ever... Oh my god, this is episode one. It's like, come on. Why do you care? Like, all you need to do is just, you know, turn the other cheek. When we were in the focus group, it was interesting that out of the whole group, Bruno used the word... Yeah. With the ER? Yeah. 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 The first one they, to like, say. they like that word. They like it for some they reason. Like I don't know why. Like when you're black, it's okay for you to say the word then, but when you're white, just. I think that most white people, not all, would love to say in the presence of black and, and not have any repercussion. <laughs> they, they caught on quick, dude. Yeah. Okay, this is fire. I, I, I have to do a quick break here. Okay, we got to do a one minute ad break here because it's top of the hour. Okay, I'm sorry. I will wait. I will wait for you guys. Okay, uh, on the other side of the ad because it's so good. I've been holding back. I haven't gone to pee yet. But it's top of the hour. Every hour is time for a six second ad break. If you want an ad free broadcasting experience? If you want, you know, an uninterrupted broadcast experience, you can subscribe for $5. You can subscribe for free with a uh, Twitch Prime if you have one, okay? You can use an ad block or a VPN, but Twitch Prime is free. My Lord, this is, ooh, this is some shit. This is good shit, dude. <laughs> least racist man in america versus most black man in america <laughs> oh jesus christ dude yeah he is method acting okay i'm gonna run the ad break now thank you resentic for the five gifted subs this is absolute madness dude what is this 